Hello, I'm David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft, and I want to help you design a better website so that you can get more leads and build more value for, to your business. Okay, so today I want to talk about filtering, uh, filtering products specifically. You really, if you are a company that is selling uh, products, or you know, two examples here is if you're a home builder or a real estate agent, uh, your customer, your visitors that are coming to your website they're looking for a piece of property or they're looking for a floor plan or anything similar to that. And when they come to your website, um, that's really why they're there. So you wanna make sure that your, your filtering um, system is up at the top. Uh, so that's really important. Today, I wanna show you an example, a kind of a before and after of a modular home business that's in California. And we're gonna use that as our example today. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about, I'm going to go section by section on this home page and I will show you the, you know, I'll show you what we planned on doing and I'll show you the results uh, of the changes that we made. So uh, on this home page for the modular business, we, we actually can't even see the filter. If I scroll down, it's below the fold. It's a gray box that's down here below these buttons. Uh, so these are the, this is what we want to change so that it's, uh, it, it's better for the, the people that are visiting this website, right? Um, so we wanna take this note from the owner and we wanna move it down the page and then we wanna bring these buttons up so that it's above the fold and then we and that in the middle here is where we wanna put that filter so when visitors land on this website, they can immediately start choosing their options. Uh, so we have styles, uh, pricing tier, and square footages. So we would immediately want them to start interacting with the website, okay? Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Those are the first three things we wanna do. So now I wanna show you how we change those. So here's the design of the new site, and you can see that now this, this uh, drop-down selection is right here on, on top of the page. We can immediately start choosing our options for the styles, the pricing tiers, and the square footage. And then if we click the search button, we're, we're off to the races, right? So now we can immediately start, in, the visitors can immediately start engaging into the website and then see something. I mean, that took maybe three or four seconds and then we were, we were there, right? So let's go back to the home page. Uh, so that, that's a big improvement over the usability of the website to allow customers to immediately start engaging engaging by using this filtering system okay and you know we can you know we can add or change uh, different kind of, of categories if you will for selections um, but so this is just an example the other things that we wanted to do is bring the buttons up here you can see these buttons are white so they stand out a lot more than they did before um, and then some other changes that we did was adding this this text in the middle you know, modular homes, California, those are key words, uh, completed 80% in the factory and then it's built. So this really kind of tells you, you know, what they're capable of doing. And now we ha have that information at the top of the page. So toggling back and forth, looking at the old page here, uh, there's an image in the background. It had been there for a long time. It, it really is to the advantage uh, for our customer for cutting edge homes to change that photo out. Um, on occasion so we we changed that background image and you can see now we've actually got a full picture more of a, a landscape type picture instead of mostly roof so this is a much better picture it gives the visitors a, a much better first impression of this website so we got our filter up top uh, we've added in our keywords and just a minimum amount of content above the fold and we've got our call to action buttons there and we've changed out the background. So you can see that we made a lot of improvements just in this one area of the website. This is huge. Uh, so other things that we wanted to do was uh, like this premium, we had a premium plan section and a plan collections and a gallery. So there's three different sections here. And then in addition to that, there was a section way down here, view modular home gallery well, that's kind of duplicate, right? So, because we have featured gallery up here. So we really want to consolidate those two so that we're just not taking up space for the, for the sake of just using up space, right? We want to be intentional about it. So if we look at those sections on the new website, what we were able to do, here's the, uh, the, the note from the owner. 
so we moved it down below the fold so it's very important and it's also got his uh, home builders association uh, logo in here which is very important so that gives credibility along with his note and then below that this is what we did to the feature plans now these are the premium feature plans so if you look back at the old website or the previous version of the home page uh, here's the premium pans I, I like this uh, masonry style but the problem is none of these were none of these had buttons so you didn't really know to click on them so what we did was we added the buttons underneath each one of the of the plans of the premium floor plans so this is the 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 best selected plans that he wants to work with uh, the most the next section was these uh, plan collections and you can see from the old the previous page uh, these these photos are not the same size and the buttons looked a little weird um, down here with the rounded corners and these are square and they're not all the same size so we really wanted to clean that up and now look at the new look uh, the buttons are still rounded corners but we have the space in between the photo and the buttons and now they are all the same size width and height so it makes it all very very neat um, and then here's the featured gallery this is the after right so now we have the buttons lining up with each one of the plans before this section was kind of looks like it's incomplete you know there's there's two that's missing here so there's two four there's six of them but there's just kind of a hole so it just looks like a mistake uh, and plus we had the feature gallery section down below so we were able to consolidate that and clean this up now it looks nice and neat and the other section is is gone uh, so here's another section here the the how we do it section so before this was just one kind of uh, you know line here a row in the design and then we had this other content below it so it was kind of separated but all of this I mean this little slideshow down here this picture of the living room this, this was a little slideshow so this talked about the different steps which is part of the how we do it but in in this design with the backgrounds being different color it looks like a different section so it just didn't look like it went together um, on the new design it's all in the green section and now here's the slideshow this takes you through uh, the steps that's the finished product and then the kitchen so there's a little slideshow of the different areas and but it's all part of the how we do it and now the savings and the earning money is all in this in this one area together um, so again this section uh, is gone uh, this section was good right here the way we had it and then the testimonials and then there's a call to action here at the bottom so just looking through we kind of kept this section the same and the testimonials there and we didn't really need the other call to action at the bottom so just kind of cleaned that up so now you can see how this how each one of the sections really got cleaned up it's going to be it's the layout is is nicer uh, there's more buttons uh, and the buttons are, are clear and the header definitely pops way more than the previous uh, home page so this is super exciting to be able to do these changes for this modular home company and you know again these you know this interaction right here at the top this is really this is why people are here here so putting this at the top of the site really is really going to help them generate some more leads so this is how in this case we can take a filtering system and we can we can make a website better by presenting that and more engagement for your customers is going to be more leads for you so we hope this helps you uh, if you're in one of these if you have those kind of products and we, we hope that this video helps you to be able to to design a better website again this is david grubb from shepherd's loft and i'll see you next time